Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Modding. In this episode, I will show you how to create this kind of morph animations. And it's made really, really simple. Um, I'm not using any particles. This is just simply, basically, a shape keys that's being created using an, ad an add-on called Morpho. And with this add-on, we have a bunch of points that can be animated using shape keys. And on top of that, you can use um, geometry nodes to create a volume. So this is in Blender 2.93 alpha. And we sort of uh, can use a volume <coughs> points to volume to mesh. So that uh, should be pretty easy. So let's uh, create something uh, like that for very, very quickly. Suzanne Taurus, uh, we just need a bunch of objects to morph into. Get something very quickly. B S some B's just extrude it and I think we can just double it a little bit. Okay, so it's actually a good idea to also remesh the object beforehand. Just as an example, because by remeshing, you you kind of make everything like unified. And we're gonna have a bunch of points to represent our geometry. Okay, so let's save this very quickly. This is actually Blender 2.92 because uh, this is gonna be official very soon. So more for demo. And at this point, we just wanna convert it into polygon. So just apply all. This guy I cannot apply because it's a, a text object. So I need to F3 convert object convert to mesh. Okay, now each one of them is a polygon mesh. So we can select all of them. And using this add-on, <coughs> Morpho, we're gonna have a single object and with all the shape keys that we need. You might notice that, okay, the result is like pretty, pretty weird, right? Like, oh, okay. But how, well, we don't need to worry about that because we can simply um, use uh, geometry nodes to correct that. So let's save this as well. Switch to geometry nodes and create a new file open. File save as. So with this guy selected. Point to volume. We can adjust the radius, etc. And volume to mesh. So we get our Suzanne back. Okay, that's a uh, that's okay for the demo. So maybe this should be. Suzanne, Cylinder, Suzanne Taurus, Text, Text number 2, okay, so that's the basic uh, idea, what, uh, one thing that Morpho doesn't give is the control over the points itself, in this case, we are simply using the remesh points, um, there is actually a 
there's actually a, a different ways you can do this oh by the way if you want to also randomize the scale of this radius you can I think we can do it this way so it's a it's very small num um, very small number there if you want to randomize I think you can you can do this there we are randomizing the radius a little bit and you can animate this if you want plug in a frame number so you are very likely we will want to bake this as alambic so export as alambic with animations so you can smooth this otherwise the result is a little bit funky like that the density we might need to increase the density or the the actual voxel so that's okay it's a little bit bubbly but you need to um, you can perhaps just increase the size so you have less bubbly result <clears throat> but you're gonna scale each one of the shapes so that's one thing if you really want to have control over the point scattering you could use stretch of nodes so you get all this guy and then point create random points on mesh as is on the surface or as a volume so it's it's totally up to you With these, you can actually control the number of points. Maybe mixing the the inside and the surface is actually best. So you need actually both. You don't um, having the same number of points also can help. So you're gonna have cylinders, Suzanne donuts and the text you can actually uh, do something like this just like rotate it a little bit so let's save this very quickly um, apply matrix so this is like a second method 1000 points randomize the seed um, and you can also use the volume I think this might actually works better 2000 points okay we will see with all of these selected, let's try to morpho. So this is morpho number two. Okay, <laughs> we also have the transformations, but that's okay. Save this. Let's uh, reopen. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me, so we have our result and we can evaluate, there you go, that's our morph, <clears throat> the, okay, let's see, the, so now the point is more scattered and we have control over the volume as well.
a little bit better. And I think if I so I keep going back and forth. So let's see. Let's So we have let's delete our current morpho and then recreate them. Oh, we have the S over there. Okay. In in the near future, we probably don't need to to use Morpho, but I think still pretty interesting add-on. So let's save this. Copy this. Reload. This is stretch up. There you go. So this is the result. Okay. Now, like I said, we have control over the animations manually. You can use relative. So S, Box, Suzanne, Donuts. I think this is quite nice. Back to geometry nodes. We still have control here. Interesting. Doesn't seem to update. So let's see if we keyframe it here and then around sixty. And then you simply bake it out because currently you cannot actually smooth this unless you use another remesh. So file export alembic selected only. Wait a few seconds. And I'm pretty sure I think with geometry nodes we can do similar example. So import alambic. Okay, this this takes a while in Mac OS data. Is checking, checking the system or something. But anyway, just import the alembic, and you can use remesh and smooth it, and you should get your animations um, baked properly. 
And I think it's, it's a really nice and quick way to create morphing, any kind of morphing animations. So, took a while. Okay, this should be uh, now real time. So like I said, it's still you still need to remesh it, but it's a lot it's a lot faster. You might actually want to bake this again as LMD. Okay, cool. Hopefully you will find this useful. Let me know what to think and I'll see you again. Thank you. Bye.